Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to New Jack City. Today, we are talking about Chris Brown and Tinashe. Now, I try to avoid this as much as possible, but I can't no longer, man. I have to. I have to uh, join my joint, my man, Jordan Lucas. With that being said, I ain't bashing Tinashe because Tinashe actually follows me on Twitter, and she is bad. And I actually love some of her music. Uh, two of her mixtapes I actually have on my well used to have on my iPod I don't have it anymore but and even her album uh, Aquarius that was actually a really good album too I liked it but with that being said I'm just gonna have to like we can't we can't go for my brother Chris bro we just can't do it no more but anyway we're talking about Chris and Tanache. if y'all haven't seen my TikTok I talked about it she pretty much bashes uh, R. Kelly and it don't really seem like she bashed Chris Brown and that's the fan of Tanache in me trying to defend her a little bit but she did do something that kind of made me be like okay maybe she did diss him and that's why we're even talking about it right now but pretty much is what happened right chris brown challenges anyone to name five songs from artist uh tanache r&b singer tanache and pretty much for context uh, the celebrity Tanache was on some podcast dissing Chris Brown and R. Kelly after they tried to say, oh, let me stop saying that. Oh, this is somebody else saying he wrote that. I'm not going to read that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but when she was on the podcast, basically he was like, yeah, so you did a um, song with R. Kelly and Chris Brown. And she was like, Ugh. and she was like, the only reason why I even did that was because of the label. They wanted me to do that because, um, and usually I would never do a song uh, with that type of artist. Now, when she said that, we didn't know exactly who she was talking about. I assumed she was talking about R. Kelly, but in context, he did say R. Kelly and Chris Brown, and she made that face and said, the label put me up to that. I wouldn't even do a song with that particular artist, right? But then she did clarify and said that the song that Chris Brown was on that's not even a song I would put him on because I feel like he would have done better on another song that I had for him. So she kind of like washed it up a little bit with Chris Brown. So I was assuming that she just said that to R. Kelly. Now, Chris Brown was like, uh, he tweeted out, name five, he said, uh, the nerd, well, he didn't say the nerd, but basically, basically he said, name five Tanache songs or you gonna die. Everybody did. That was hilarious and it was messed up. But, and I kind of laughed, but <laughs> it was still messed up. But what made me think that she actually was talking about Chris Brown too was because there was a girl that tweeted out, uh, tweeted out, it seems like Chris Brown was mad that you denied him uh, when he tried to, when he tried to get at you. And she liked that tweet. And, or she said, it seems like Chris Brown is, uh, Chris, the only reason why Chris Brown is going at you is because you denied him when he tried to get at you and she liked that tweet. Here's my thing, right? And this is why we can't, and this is why I had to make this video. We can't go against the GOAT. We can't do that. I've, I made my, I made a, dis, uh, a uh, not even a disparaging, I was gonna say, it's not a disparaging. I made a critique about Chris Brown. And basically I just said, uh, Chris Brown is the GOAT, uh, undeniably the GOAT, will always be the GOAT and we want to hear more music like Fine China and stuff like that. And we don't really want to hear about you game banging and stuff like that. That was my critique. And even he liked the tweet. And he said, listen, I can care less about what you, uh, I can care less what you think about me uh, with the game banging stuff. But I appreciate you um, and um, and keep, uh, and good luck, good luck in your career or something like that. And, you know, I appreciate what he said because even though I gave him that critique, he still understands that I still consider everyone see him as the GOAT because it's Chris Brown. Come on, bro. Like, obviously, he's the GOAT. There's nothing. Come on. He's the GOAT. It is what it is. And we can't do this whole slander stuff. It seems like everyone always wants to attack and they always want to keep up bringing the whole Rihanna situation. They want to keep bringing up the, uh, uh, the Rihanna situation and how he keeps going at people when he gets when he gets his little tantrums and stuff like that and it's like bro don't we always do this when are we going to learn right we did this with chris brown we did this with michael jackson 
right? Because remember, Michael Jackson wasn't always the GOAT. We started loving him even more when he died, which is sad. But when he was alive, remember, and that whole allegations came out with them kids and stuff like that, and he proved in court that he didn't actually do that, and now they made another, and then they came out and said, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, he didn't do anything to us, and then after he died, they tried to do it again. They made another video saying, no, actually, we lied. He did do something. Like, come on, bro. When are we going to understand that we got to stop bashing the people that we look up to and the people that we actually love that give us good quality music? and start appreciating them while they're alive. I appreciate Chris Brown, even though sometimes he, he do a little too much with the game banging stuff. I appreciate everything about him, bro. He's the GOAT. It is what it is. Stop bashing him. Like bash him, if you're gonna give some criticism to him or you're gonna bash him, bash him about something that he's doing relevant, relatively right now. What is he doing right now? Staying out the way. Bro, you don't even hear about Chris Brown. Remember, there was a boat, there was a moment in time. It was a moment in time, him and Justin Bieber. Damn near almost every week, he was in the tabloids for doing something stupid. You don't even see him doing any of that, like um, any of that anymore. If he ain't promoting no music, or he's not doing like an interview, basically having good vibes and stuff like that, bro, and usually he's promoting a song and or an upcoming album, when he's doing that, he's stay out the way. He's talking about he making uh he making Cool little animation posters, which I appreciate. He's doing some art, which I don't know why he hasn't sold some of his art, because his art is fantastic. Bro, this dude was meant for greatness. Can we talk about the greatness of Chris Brown real quick? Let me just get there real quick. I'm sorry. I, let me let me Chris Brown out a little bit. This dude was made to be great. Like, everything about, I don't know what happened when God designed him. It was like, okay, cool. We gonna give him the ability to sing. We gonna give him the ability to dance. We gonna give him the ability to make art. We gonna give him the ability to play basketball because he is a hooper. We gonna give him the ability to uh, rap. We gonna give him the ability to be a cool and put other people on. Come on now, let's not let's not let's not play like he ain't put people on now. Let's be one hundred. Tiger had a great career when he was with Young Money, but he didn't really get put on until he did that fan of a fan mixtape with Chris Brown. Let's be one hundred. Can we keep it real? He put a couple people on now. And I can put, I can name some others, but I'm not really thinking right now. But this dude was meant to be great. <laughs> like, if he didn't make it in singing, he was going to make it in something. And I wish he could sell some of his art, because I promise you, I feel like some of his art could be in art museums, and he can sell, he can sell some of his art, his art, like some, some Picasso stuff, to be 100, because he's already big. So it's like, if he was like, if he made one of those little animation arts that he does, or those teddy bear arts that he does, and he was like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna sell this for 50 racks. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna buy that. Like, I don't think Chris Brown will ever go broke. Because if, let's just say, let's say on some weird, just something bad happened, and I'm praying nothing bad happens to him, because, and I'm hoping that, um, I'm also praying too that, he looks at videos like this of people who are actually a fan of him and critique him a little bit, but are a fan of him and appreciate the music that he gives us. But let's just say some freak accident happened, right? And this dude was like broke. He broke his leg um, in a car accident and messed up his voice and he couldn't sing. This dude, all he had to do was just sell his art. That's it. <laughs> I promise you. All you got to do is sell his art and I, I can almost guarantee you his art will probably sell more than his albums. And I'm not saying because his album is like slow or flop or anything like that. He's still, no, this is Chris Brown. People are still buying his music. I'm just saying his art is that good. And he can mass produce his art. Like, it takes him. Did y'all know he got 15,000 songs? He just did an interview with somebody. I saw that. This dude got 15,000. I take it back. Never mind. If something was to happen to him, what, 15,000? The dude got 15,000 songs. He's like on some Tupac stuff. No cap. If this dude was to go tomorrow, that's all I'm saying. We're gonna stop with this disrespect. We're gonna stop with this disrespect. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop. We're gonna we're gonna stop disrespecting Chris Brown. We're gonna have to stop doing that. Absolutely. Even Michael Jackson didn't give us no 15,000 15, songs. Chris Brown, uh, from my from my uh, understanding, when Michael Jackson died, he had some songs in the vault, and if I'm not mistaken, he could put out. He has like five to six album worth of music that he can put out right now. Well, not him put out, but people can put out to where their album, um, their album rate. 15,000, 15,000 songs? 
That means if something was to happen to Chris Brown right now, we would have 20 to 30 years of of 20, 30 tracks, because he like giving us long tracks, 20 or 30 songs each year. And he would probably have to put two to three albums out a year just to get to that 30 year mark with 15,000 songs. Now we don't know if all of them are finished or some needs to be edited and stuff like that, but he got 15,000 songs. He said he has 1,800 in just his phone alone. Come on now. Stop disrespecting Chris Brown. We, we need to stop doing it. It's not funny. It's not fun. It's not cute. We got to stop that. Y'all really want Chris Brown to go? When Chris Brown just said, yeah, tomorrow. Like when he was, and I was, he was getting on my nerves when he was doing that too. When he was like, during X, he was like, this is going to be my last album. I'm gone. No. No. Let's stop. I'm with Jordan Lucas. We gonna stop that. But anyway, how do y'all feel about the whole situation? Leave in the comment section. Give this video a big thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you don't like the video. But please subscribe to the channel, all right? I will see y'all next time. All right? Living, living, just enough. Living, just for the city. Living, 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 just enough.